Good morning, Wildcats. Hey, we told you we'd be back. And sure enough, here we are to give you another edition of the Weekly Roar. This has been a crazy week between the wind, rain, and heavy snowfall. Let's just hope that our little friend, Mr. Puxitani Phil, can stick to his word. Judging by the looks of it, this is a pretty slow start to spring. Are you guys having a rainy day? Don't worry, because John has a weather forecast for your weekend, and it's looking to be pretty rainy. John. Morning, cats. Now don't worry, Joe's just kidding about it being a rainy weekend. Except, well, he wasn't, because it's going to be rainy, just not today. Let's look at today's forecast. As you can see, it's supposed to be sunny all day with a high of 49 and a low of 37, so it's starting to warm up a bit. All right, let's look at our map for the weekend. From what you can see on our map, there's not a whole lot going on in our part of town, but we do have a large system of rain clouds moving in from the west, which should arrive sometime Saturday. All right, looking at the weekend, Saturday we've got a high of 55 and a low of 39 with 60% chance of showers throughout the day. And on Sunday, we've got a high of 53 and a low of 45 with it being mostly cloudy all day. Then on Monday, coming back to school, we've got a 30% chance for precipitation with a high of 57 and a low of 45. So a little gloomy weather heading into OGTs, but nothing to worry about for most of us. Enjoy the extra sleep, guys. I know I will. All right, that about does it for this edition of the AccuCat Weekly Weather Forecast. Back to you guys. If that doesn't get you pumped up for the weekend, I don't know what will. Maybe it's a good sign for the boys' basketball team. Hopefully they'll be raining threes in their district final game. And we will drown the Westville South Wildcats. And the fans can flood the courts. All right, that's enough with the sports slash weather analogies. Linda's here to give you some information about the big game. Lindy? Well, the boys have done it again. Last Saturday, the Varsity Boys defeated Pickerington North 63-43 and continue their fight to move on to the district finals. Greg Avery led the cast with 22 points followed by Kendall Stinson with 12 points and Corey Thomason with 10 points. You can go and see the Cats back in action as they face Westerville South at the Ohio State Fairgrounds Coliseum tomorrow at 2 o'clock. Tickets are on sale in the athletic office for $6 and will be $8 at the Coliseum. As you may know, this means that you can get out of school at 12 o'clock to see the game. But in order to do this, you must have a note from your parent or guardian, report to your grade level office and get a pass, and you must sign in at the game with Pam Evans. This will be classified as a field trip and will not count against senior exemptions. With all that said, good luck to the Cats tomorrow. Back to you, Joe and Brian. Thanks, Linda. Okay, now for the fun part of the show, the news. Don't forget to buy our 2006-2007 yearbook for $62. Sale ends spring break, so get them in, guys. Attention seniors, you can now start applying for the Lincoln County Foundation Scholarships online. Stop by the guidance office for their website and check out all the scholarships that are available through the Licking County Foundation. Deadline to apply is March 19th. The Newark Generals Varsity Hockey Team tryout dates have been changed to Monday, March 19th and Wednesday, March 21st from 7 to 8.20 p.m. at the Reese, formerly Newark Ice Arena. Players must attend both tryout dates. Cost for the tryout is also changed to $30 and is non-refundable. Check should be made, made payable to NIHA and brought to you brought to the first trial questions contact Don at 740-788-8836 or visit www.newarkgenerals.com attention college bound juniors and seniors the a call to college resource center is available for your college needs they can help students with college search searches comparisons and visual tour, or virtual tours excuse me the ACT SAT test prep and using the discovering discover program plus much more Stop by the Resource Center in the hub near the receptionist's desk. If you are a sophomore or a junior and interested in going into the medical field, you might be interested in the National Youth Leadership Forum on Medicine. See your guidance counselor for more information. The library will be closed the week of March 12th and the week of March 19th for OGT testing. Please plan accordingly. We are sorry for any inconveniences. All right, cats. We know you need some chocolate for the Easter season. See a choir member and order a, a milk chocolate, white chocolate, or peanut butter bunny on March 12th and get your order in. The cost is only $5 per bunny and they're made by bloomers. Time is running out, so make sure you get a bunny for your honey. Applications for the following scholarships are available if you are a sophomore or junior and are interested in going into the medical field. You might be interested in the National Youth Leadership Forum on Medicine. See your guidance counselor for more information about or in the guidance office. 
Sorry. American Business Women's Association Scholarship deadline is April 15th. Down Syndrome Association, Association of Central Ohio deadline to apply is March 31st. Father Castro Maripi's scholarship program for seniors of Italian descent, SA is required. Deadline is March 26th. Alpha, De Alpha Delta Kappa Educational Sorority Scholarship for females planning to enter the teaching profession. Deadline is April 15th. Farm Bureau Agricultural Grant. Parents of applicants must be a member of the Licking County Farm Bureau. Deadline to apply is March, May 12th. The Shiloh Baptist Church Esther J. Noble Scholarship. Deadline is April 1st. Vietnam Veterans of America Chapter 55 Scholarship. Deadline is April 1st. The Mary Barnes Nimble Thimble Scholarship for Amer African American students. Deadline is March 23rd. The Dick Meyer Scholarship for students attending the Ohio University or Technical School majoring in Natural Resources, con Conversation, Environment Science, Environmental Education, or that of a related field. Deadline is April 15th. The Future Educator Award for seniors planning to major in education. Deadline to apply is April 5th. See Mrs. Starcher in the guidance office if you have any questions about any of these scholarships. This upcoming week is very important for our school. Not only do most of us get to catch some, some extra sleep, since first period doesn't start until 10 a.m., but it is also OGT week, meaning that there are some important tests going on before most of us come to school. I'm sure you probably haven't heard anything about this before, so Casey's here to give you more information. Casey? Hey cats, Casey Goddard back again. In case you didn't know, OGT is next week. So I walked around campus and got the insight on what's going on. The OGT is the Ohio graduation test, which is given to all sophomores um, for the first time. And then they, the students have five tries at passing it before they graduate. It is, the, it is required for graduation. There are five portions, reading, math, writing, science, and social studies, and they are given in that order. I talked to senior Alec Nikolaski, who took the OGT two years ago, and I asked him how he felt about it. I think it's pretty basic information that you have to know to take the test, so if you know the basics, then you should be, it's all right, I guess, I can get you. This year, there's a big reward for passing the OGT. Well, I think this year it's going to be pretty neat because, well, if we pass all of them and we're on time, we get to exempt our exams, so. Teachers are doing all they can to help prepare students for the OGT. Uh, we play games, we do a lot of like station stuff, worksheets, um, packets. I don't think it's really going to be that hard because they prepared us pretty well and if you just, if you pay attention to class, you'll, I think you'll do okay on it. Well sophomores, good luck on the OGT. For the Weekly Roar, I'm Casey Goddard. Back to you. From all of us here at WNN, we would like to wish all those taking the test good luck. Well, that wraps it up for another edition of the Weekly Roar. Because of the much shortened schedule next week, we will not be on, but we will be back the following Friday, the last day before spring break. Good luck to the basketball team, and thanks for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow on Saturday. Later.